Nah, this day's turning out to be one for the books. My son gets married, and I've got a dose of the counteragent. <laughs> it's everything I need to bury, Sonny. Is that a fact? You gonna bury me, Joe? What the hell does that mean? What, you're breaking and entering now? Who's breaking? I got the key. Yeah, well, your girlfriend lets you waltz in any old room you She's want? She's my fiance. She doesn't know we're here, Joe. Who's we? Oh, I almost forgot. Boys. I figured you're new in town. I figured you could use some friends. Hey, thanks, but I got enough friends. They want to hurt their feelings, Joe. They want to take you on a little trip. Oh. Because all the, you know, the stress with Jerry Jacks, I thought maybe you want to take a, a, a ride to the countryside. Right, and I never come back. Pine Barrens is very nice this time of year. Yeah, well, what happened to all that talk about how you didn't want to kill me since your fiance, Kate, yeah, yeah, didn't want yeah. you to? Who said anything about kill? If the water is really contaminated, wouldn't you want, you know, wouldn't you want to spend your last moments relaxing among friends? You know what? That's really touching, <laughs> Sonny, right? You know, I never knew you cared. You get out of jail, Joe. You come straight to Port Charles. You start talking about burying the hatchet. Where do you decide to stay? Kate's Hotel, when I specifically warned you to not come near her. She came to my room. I don't care. Now, I don't want to hear it. You want to tell your friends, go ahead. I'm sure they'll get an earful before anybody knows that you're missing. A man like you, Joe, you know, is easily misjudged. Well, you might, because of your past, you know, the way you put your hands on women, how you killed McBain's sister, how you could hurt Kate in the worst possible way. So you have to understand that people aren't going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But I am. You were always a worthless piece of garbage, and your own father knew that. That's why he never gave you anything important, Joe. He always gave it to me. And you were always so jealous, but you didn't have the spine to come after me because I would kick your ass. So what do you do instead, huh? You go after my girlfriend? You deny it all you want, but you know. You know I'm telling the truth. That's why you're so pissed. She asked for it. Boys, show them a good time. I kicked it easy. Cheer up. Huh? Hey, hey, cheer up, Joe. Just think about it. After all these years, you're, you're finally going to get what you deserve. Fine. You know what? Blow my head off, dump my body in the Pine Barrens. But just know, Sonny, when you get rid of me, say goodbye to any chance of Kate ever seeing her son again. What'd you say? What, are you deaf? You heard me. Your friends take me on this little road trip, and your fiance, Kate, Never gets to see your son. Or should I say my son, our son. But you remember, right, Sonny? That baby she threw away like yesterday's garbage? You told me the baby was dead. Jeff. Oh, well, you know, maybe I made a mistake. Well, maybe you're just trying to buy some time to mm. save your ass. Mm. You prepared to take that chance? You're lying, Joe, because you lie all the time. This is, you've done your whole life. And you expect me to fall for it. Right? I'm, I'm not as stupid as you think I am. Guess what, Sonny? I know you real well. You're that same arrogant son of a bitch you were back in Atlantic City. Always needed to be in control. But now, I've thrown a wrench in the works. Because there's a part of you that's asking yourself if this is true. If there's a boy walking around who's Kate's own flesh and blood. And if there is, don't you want to be the one that brings them back together? You know, reunite mother and son before we all die. Stop! So, you gonna let me go, or what? You always get away with it, don't you, Joe? Just like you ducked those murder charges, because you probably had a good story, and you probably, you know, have a, that's why you're making this story up, telling me about Kate's son. But you know what? It's not true. No, well, maybe you're right. Yeah. But if you kill me, Sonny, you never know. Why would I want to meet your son? The only reason he exists is because you forced yourself 
on Kate. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, Kate might have a different opinion about that. I mean, after all, it's her only child. And the way that things are going with this pathogen in the water, it kind of looks like she'll never have a chance to have another one. But hey, you know, it's your call, Sonny. You know, I just hope that you can live with yourself after you make it. My conscience is my business, Joe. Stop playing games with me. If this is real, you need to tell me. All in good time. What is that supposed to mean, Joe? It means that I'm not ready to tell you just yet. But when I am, trust me, you'll be the first to know. What happened to wanting Kate to know her son before it's too late? All right, we got 48 hours, don't we? Well, you know what? You might have bought yourself a little bit of time here with this fairy tale of yours. But we're not finished. Your days are numbered, pal. Well, that looks like it's true for all of us, pal. We'll see, uh. Joe. <laughs> Go ahead. Go. Get him out of here. Thanks, fellas. Pleasure meeting you. If it's true and we only have two days left on this earth, trust me, I'm going to be spending my time with Kate. We're not even going to be thinking about you and your made up son. son of mine is now your son-in-law. We're just one big happy family. 